Yo, what it do, YouTube? It's your boy, Ref, and I'm back with another reaction video. As always, if you like this video, like it, comment, request anything in the comment section down below, and of course, hit the subscribe button. It's going to be reacting to Plans for Our Gender Reveal by the Ace Family. Exciting news. Let's get straight to the reaction, bitch. Uh, let's get straight to this reaction, bro. Let's get it. Someone told me love was only in the movies that don't exist in real life these days. But you showed me if I only just find the faith I need to believe. Anything is possible if you want it back. Everybody. So the girls are getting ready right now. We're about to leave the house. Catherine has an appointment for her consultation to get her blood drawn. For those who don't know what that means, we're pretty much getting a blood test in the next few days to find out the gender of our baby. So today is a big step for us towards planning our gender reveal. But before we get into that, I want to update you guys on our basketball charity event coming up. So I obviously haven't picked my two opponents yet, which now that I think about it, it's coming up pretty quick. But I did want to touch on the opponents of your guys' choice. Now, you guys tag the same people over and over again, which is a good thing because it makes it easier for me and these opponents that you guys keep tagging all have actually played so you guys are taking this serious which i love so let's go through the list of these opponents that all of you have requested <sighs> my good friend phase rug <laughs> bro i love you but i wouldn't want your parents to witness you take an l now for the next opponent he might be he might be just as passionate as me about basketball. I believe he plays in a basketball league, but against old men. So, Rowatis, I'm not an old man. I don't think you're ready. My next opponent, you guys have tagged this person a lot. I must admit, he's pretty damn good at everything he does. But the only highlights I've ever seen him play were against celebrities. Chris Brown, have you ever played a real hooper. My next opponent here, I first want to start out by saying congratulations to you and your lady for your newborn. Welcome to the fatherhood. But that ain't gonna stop me from giving you an L. Pretty boy Fredo. I hear you moving to California. I'll be glad to give you your first L here. This next opponent actually has a court at his house. And I believe he lives in Vegas, which is just a drive away to LA. But CJ so cool. I ain't never seen no highlights, bruh. The next opponent I have here on the list, I actually ran into him not too long ago. Justin Bieber. The basketball highlights that I've seen, it looks like you just out there having fun. <laughs> You're not serious. Now, my next opponent, you guys were tagging him quite a bit. And he's actually the homie. I didn't even know he played basketball. So I looked up some of his highlights and uh, not bad. He is the true definition of never judge a book by his cover. Rice gum, you might want to take a break from Fortnite start practicing for my next opponent i'm sorry for pronouncing your name wrong but you look like the type of dude who's like me in high school it looks like you played all the sports which at the same time i think is your weakness adam sala pick a sport and stick to it and for my second to last opponent i haven't really seen any highlights but there's a reason why you guys keep tagging him so quavo i can give you some highlights they may not be good for you but they some highlights. Now for my last opponent, I don't really know much about, but he looks athletic. You seem like a cool dude, but I don't mind giving you an L. So Flight, why do people call you Flight? All I gotta say is if you haven't been working on your game, I suggest you work on your game now. So those are all the people that you guys have been requesting over and over again to be my opponent, but there could be other people that pop up in between time of me picking my opponent. So just know I'll be picking my opponent at the end of next week. So you gotta stay tuned for that. All right, so let's go see if the girls are ready. <laughs> My girls are cleaning. <laughs> wow, baby, you really getting in there, huh? Get in the credits? <laughs> wow, this is amazing. I got my wife over here doing the dishes. And my two-year-old daughter over here scrubbing the walls. Oh, yeah. Wow. I am so impressed. I am impressed. 
What you want? It's clean. You all done? Yeah. Okay, I'm proud of you. Give me some dap. Good job. Well, you're not done yet, huh? Dad is going to pay you an allowance, okay? After you're done, you come get Dad and I'll pay you, okay? Yeah. Okay, cool. When Dad pays you, you got to save up for more cleaning supplies, okay? You all done? Yeah. You want to go on the swings? Yeah. Come on, let's go on the swings. Yeah. All right, let's go see if she's ready. Ask Mama if she's ready to go to her appointment. Ask her. Mama, you ready? Ready? You ready to go? Ready. All right, here we go. Ace family, we'll meet you there. We made it. We're here. <laughs> We're in the waiting room right now? Yeah. We're waiting to get seen by a doctor? <laughs> Who are you looking at? <gasps> Hi. Yeah. All right, guys. So while we're waiting to get seen by a doctor, I'm looking around. This place is pretty cool. Like, what the hell are these? Whatever they are, they're pretty cool. They're gonna get you. <laughs> they're gonna get you. <laughs> the Ace family's gonna get you. <laughs> you better hide. You better hide. They're coming. Got you. <laughs> Hell, why your pants so high? Can you pull them down? No. Nah. You looking like Gumpy. <laughs> pull them down. <laughs> pull them down a little bit. Are those supposed to be high waisted? Huh? Can we just pull them down just a little bit? It's like that. No. Nah. What? Who do you think you are? Yay! Guys, watch this. Oh, there's a puppy. There's a puppy. You see the puppy? <laughs> tricked you. I tricked you. I tricked you. There ain't no puppy. There's no puppy. I'm just kidding. I love you. You want a puppy? Oh, look at her. There's no puppy here, baby. That's so messed up. Did I trick you? Did I, I tricked you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Follow Mama. Mama's right here. So here, baby, look at the little chair. How cute it is. It's perfect size for you, anymore. <laughs> All right, baby, you want to explain to them what's happening right now? Yeah. So basically, in order to find out the gender of my baby, at 10 weeks, at the 10-week mark, you can actually find out by a blood test. And this is something that all my friends have been doing. This is something we didn't do when we had, oh, we actually had to find out at like 20 weeks or something. And we actually found out through like a 3D thing. This time around, we can do like a blood test and find out a little bit earlier. So we wanted to go ahead and do that instead of having to wait for so long. Wow. Oh, I love seeing the 3D because you can really see. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so so tiny. We can go around. So that's the back. Uh huh. And I can just flip. Oh, I'll say it all. See the baby? Yeah. Oh. So good news, huh? So yes, yeah, so I'm gonna be able to do my blood test on Friday and they're gonna come to my house and do it so I don't have to come back. And then I'm also gonna do another test for ovarian cancer. I'm gonna do like a gene test because my grandmother died from ovarian cancer, so it's like really, really close. So I'm gonna do that. And as far as all the other information for our gender reveal, I'm gonna be telling you all of that when we get home. Let's go home. Ready with all the information. Come on. Say bye. <laughs> All right, guys, so we just got home and we weren't really expecting to see that 3D footage today. At all. That's like earliest I've ever seen it 3D. I didn't even know you could do it that early. Exactly. It was exciting for us. So now we're going to talk to you guys about our plans for our gender reveal because it's coming up quick so basically as i explained at the doctor's office i'm going to be doing a blood test on friday so this friday coming up basically what they're going to do is draw some blood and then test that and then it's going to take up to like five days to see the results 
to know whether it's a boy or a girl. And then I'm also going to do another test. And this test is something I wasn't planning on doing, but this is something that's more personal to me. And this is I'm um, going to be doing the ovarian test. So basically it's to see if I have that gene in me. I'm not sure if you know this or not, but my mother's mom passed away when she was 35. So my grandmother passed away from ovarian cancer. She found out she had that and then four months later she passed away. And so that's something that runs in my family. And obviously another reason why I wanted to make sure that I had kids now in my life is because um, I do have that possible gene. So I wanted to make sure that I, ha I was able to have kids and there was nothing wrong with my ovaries and stuff. And so um, now I'm gonna be doing that test to see if I actually do have that. So all of this is gonna be taking place on Friday. We're gonna have a nurse come to the house and she's gonna do all those tests and stuff. After I take this blood test for the gender on Friday, oh, we have to wait five days and then, and after, then we find those, out. after those five days are up, we're gonna know. Then no. the doctor, no, we're not gonna know. The doctor is gonna call a friend of ours, a good friend of ours who has been wanting to do our gender reveal for a long time. Actually, before she even knew we were pregnant, before we even knew we were pregnant, she said, when you do get pregnant eventually, I wanna do your gender reveal. We love her, we know that she's gonna be the perfect person to throw our gender reveal, especially because we wanna make sure that our family and close friends as well that are there during that day find out at the same time we find out. And so the whole thing is just gonna be awesome. This is special though, because it's our first gender reveal. I know. We never got to do this with Elle. So the fact that we're able to finally have one makes it that much more special because we get to now experience it with you guys it's as well. It's crazy because we're share we've shared so many special moments with you guys, like moments that I never thought in my entire life that I would ever share with millions and millions of people. Facts. And it's crazy that it happened to us without knowing that it was going to happen to us. So this day is going to be really, really exciting for us. And we're happy that you guys get to be there because a lot of you guys have been there from the very beginning. A lot of you guys watch us all the time. So it's going to be really exciting for everyone, I think. So once those five days are up and the doctor has the results in, she's going to be calling our friend, mm -hmm. letting her know whether it's a boy or a girl. By the way, guys, <laughs> we're, we're extremely excited for either a boy or a girl. I low-key want a girl, another girl. Austin Loki wants, you know that. Austin, no, I, did, I didn't know no, you wanted you a girl. You, the, 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 you do know. This is my first time hearing that you want a girl. I low-key want another girl. Okay. But I'll and be I, happy with a boy. And like, I low key, I'll, I'm like 50% 50, 50 boy, 50% girl. Like, I literally don't care whatever it is. But you just I'll said you low-key want a girl. But I like So you're like 52% so like girl. No, like 50.01. Okay, okay. I just feel like we have a boy, it completes our family, you know? I think we have a girl that completes our family too. <laughs> yeah, because I can see myself having all girls. <laughs> yeah, damn. No, but either way, like Catherine said, as long as our baby's healthy, that's the only thing that matters. Who knows, man? It's it's up in the air. Honestly, life works in very mysterious ways. I think God is going to give us yeah, what we Yeah, God deserve. can either bless us with all girls. Who knows? We might have three or four girls running around. Or God can bless us with a boy, and it'll just be four of us, and we won't have to have any more kids. I want one more kid just you do? in the future, maybe. I don't know. Okay. It all depends on my ovaries. It all depends on my body. True. All we got to say is these next couple of weeks are going to be real interesting. I know the first pregnancy, our first time around, we wanted to know Elle's, um, the sex of our baby so badly, but we had to wait so long. I know. It sucked. I wish I could have found out at our, at our time now. I wish I could find out from day one. <laughs> I don't understand how people can wait until the baby's born oh to know gosh. the gender. You guys are Like, strong. I have a lot of respect for those people. So much respect for those people. That's because crazy. I could never. That's like, 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 imagine you just have a baby and all of a sudden we pick it up. <gasps> it's a girl! <laughs> That's crazy. I feel like you need time to, like, prepare. It's just not for us. Like, we need to know ASAP. Right. These next couple of weeks need to fly by so we can have the party already and so we can know. I'm sure you guys are just as excited as we are. And then we have to start, we have to start planning your birthday party and Elle's birthday party. Dang, we got a lot coming up. Sorry guys, we've been talking so much. We're just super excited. So we're gonna go ahead and close out today's video right here. Thank you all for tuning in. As always, before we close out today's video, we do have to give our post notification shout out to who is it? So today's post notification shout out goes to Samuel, Samuel Justice. So shout out to you. <laughs> shout out to you, bro. Thank you so much for being a part of Ace Family. Whoever else like a post notification shout out, all you gotta do is subscribe to the Ace Family. Hit that subscribe button, turn on our post notifications, hit that bell button. And once you do those two things, just comment what? Done. In the comments, that's it. <laughs> oh, and also 
in the comments. Let me know if you guys are in your first trimester. I really want to know what your guys' symptoms are. Symptoms are because hey, I know what you're thinking. Yeah, because guys, literally, like I know I've mentioned this in the past couple of vlogs, but I've been feeling so sick and so tired, and I'm starting to feel like it's worse than my first pregnancy. So just let me know if you feel that way too. It's not all fine and dandy over here. Like <laughs> it's really hard. But yeah, just let me know. Obviously, if you like today's video, you gotta give it a thumbs up. Give it a thumbs up if you guys are excited. For what? For our gender reveal. Yeah, for our gender reveal. And and who's throwing our gender reveal? Hmm, could be my grandma. <laughs> so like, comment, share, and subscribe. And like me and my beautiful pregnant queen always say. These put the camera on my belly. <laughs> I tried, but you were in all black, so you can't yeah. really see nothing. By the way, guys, I don't wear all black because I want to try to hide or anything. I literally just love wearing black. And I just wear, like, comfortable oh, clothes trust. every day. Trust, you won't be able to hide. so sick. Trust, you won't be able to hide <laughs> when that tummy starts poking. Woo, you guys see her first pregnancy. That belly was out there saying hi to everyone. That was a big belly. It was. It's funny because you couldn't tell I was pregnant from the back. And then you, I would go to the <laughs> side and everyone would be like, oh my God. It was a cute belly. So like me and my beautiful pregnant queen always say, we'll, we'll be back, back with more videos. videos. Peace. All right, let me know your thought of the video in the comment section down below. Shout out to today's family. And hit the subscribe button. And I'll holler on the next one. Peace on me.